An extreme eco-warrior who served time in a Japanese jail for trying to end whaling says he'll do whatever it takes to stop Queensland's turtles and dugongs from being killed. The state government is under mounting pressure to stop the animals being hunted to extinction and we warn some images in this story may distress viewers. Angie is a 60-year-old beauty. She was found dying on a beach after being attacked by a crocodile. Two years later, she's recovering well after extensive rehabilitation, but her species faces a much bigger threat. I'm trying to help you, Dad. Conservationists say green sea turtles are being inhumanely hunted to extinction in Queensland. How could you kill a magnificent creature like that? Traditional hunting laws allowed this gentle giant to suffer a drawn-out death in searing heat in January. Activists hope Pete Bethune is the man who'll bring change. He spent five months in jail for trying to stop whaling. Japanese prison was pretty scary. Yeah, I was in max security with some pretty nasty people. The New Zealander hopes to stay out of Queensland prisons on his mission to save our turtles and dugongs. If you guys carry on like this, we won't be arguing about native title rights for dugongs and turtles because they'll be all gone. Bob Irwin says that could be a reality within a decade. If we continue on the path that we're on, uh, dugongs are going to be extinct. There is no doubt about that. Now the international stage must take over and embarrass our government. Conservationists are calling for state and federal governments to introduce a moratorium on hunting to replenish populations. Sustainability Minister Kate Jones says she's developing plans to stop illegal poaching and cruelty to the animals. Michelle Retray, 7 News.